ever downloaded a spreadsheet where all your data is jammed into one column names dates and values crammed together making it nearly impossible to work with don't worry you are not alone and today we are going to fix that in seconds welcome to the ultimate guide on text to columns in microsoft excel an insanely powerful tool that can save you hours of manual work and instantly make your data clean organized and ready for analysis in this video i will show you exactly how to split the messy text into perfectly aligned columns with just a few clicks whether you are dealing with csv files or imported data or just cleaning up a report this technique is a total game changer and it's not just the basics we will also cover delimiters fixed width advanced tips and how to avoid the most common mistakes that trip people up so if you are ready to take control of your data boost your productivity and finally master the microsoft excel like a pro smash that like button subscribe and let's dive right into text to columns Hello all, my name is Samir Rohadia and currently I'm working as a BI developer and IT trainer on freelance basis. Let us start with the concept known as text to columns. So here in this particular Excel sheet, so here we are having the first name and the last name. It's a combination. So what we want to do that I want to separate this first name and last name and I want to put it into two separate columns. So here we have the concept known as text to columns. So what we'll be doing that we'll be selecting all these cells here, which are containing the full name. And then I will go to the data tab. So you go to the data tab here and in the data tab, you click this button that is known as text to columns. If I click this button text to columns, then here I'm having one dialog box and it says here the text wizard has determined that your data is delimited. Now, what is this delimited? Delimited means here you can see that in this particular example, we are having a space. So there is a space between the first name and the last name. So this space is a delimiter. Then other delimiters are underscore, dash, or you can say hyphen, colon, semicolon. These are all the delimiters. Now here it has identified that there is a delimiter. Now we have to tell that what is the delimiter. If this is correct, choose next or choose the data type that best describes your data. So here it says choose the file type that best describes your data. So by default, we are having here delimited, which is already selected. And the another option that is fixed width. So fixed width will be seeing later on. Now, what is this delimited? Here it says characters such as commas or tabs separate each field. So that is what I've earlier talked about. That is all this uh, space, underscore, hyphen, dash. These are all the delimiters. And fixed width, it says here fields are aligned in columns with spaces between each field. So that we'll see in a separate example. Now, here we have already selected the delimited. Then what we do that after selecting this delimited, then we click here next button and when i click on the next button then here it is asking me this screen lets you set the delimiters your data contains you can see how your text is affected in the preview below so here we are having various types of delimiters so we are having here tab semicolon comma space and other now in our example what we are having the delimiter here it is the space the space between the first name and the last name so we'll be selecting here a space not the tab and after selecting the space the rest things are fine now you can see that as soon as I select here space, now here we are having the two columns. So the first name is in one column and the last name is in another column. After selecting this space delimiter, then we have to click this next button. Now when I click on the next button, then here we are in the step number three of three. Here it is asking us, this screen lets you select each column and set the data format. Now here what we can do that we can set up the data format for each of the column. So whether this column is having the text or it is having some date, or if you want to keep it here let's say general we can also keep it here general no issues in this example but if you want to convert it into a text or if you want to identify as a text then you can also select here text let's say the first column is selected i select here text and now you can see that it is written here text on the top area similarly i can also select the second one the last name column and here also if you want i can select text or i can also keep it general you decide i will go for let's say text here after identifying the data format now what we have to do we have to select the destination then where we want to put this thing now by default here what is the destination it is a3 dollar a dollar three that is this particular cell but i don't want to disturb all these cells here i want to create a separate two columns 
if I want to put these two separate columns over here, then I have to click this button here in the destination. We are having this uh, up arrow button. I click it and now I have to select one cell here. Just select only one cell, not the two columns here. Select one cell and after selecting this cell, which is known as B3. So here it is written in this particular small dialog box. It is $B$3. And after I have this $B$3 here, that is this cell, then I click this down arrow button. And when I click on the down arrow button, I am back to that same dialog box. And now here you can see that it is written destination equal to $B$3. Now after changing this destination, now we click on here finish button. So once I click on the finish button, so now you can see that we are having here the two separate columns. First one is containing all the first name. The second one is containing all the last name. And now here I can put some title. So this is first name. In the next one, I can write down here last name. You can also do all this various formatting here if you want. I can select here these two titles. I can make it bold and all the other things I can do it here. So friends here, we have seen that how we can convert one particular text column into two separate columns. So this is one of the example of text to column. Now, if we go down, then in this example, we are having also the same names as we are having over here. But now here, there is a and separator. So the delimiter here, it is and. So between the first name and last name, we are having ampersand. So here also, we want to separate this one column into two separate columns. So how we do this thing? We do the same process. We select all the cells here. Then after selecting the cells, where is the text to column button? It is in the data tab. So go to the data tab and in the data tab, you click this button text to columns. And once you click on the text to columns, then here we'll go with the same option delimited. And after I select the delimited, I click on next here. And now I have to tell Excel that what is my delimiter. By default here, earlier we had selected space, but here we don't have space. Here we are having the ampersand. Now see here we don't have that ampersand delimiter. We have tab, semicolon, comma, and space. So if we are having these kind of special characters as a delimiter, then what we have to do, we have to select here other. But before I select here other, let us remove the space. So now I put here the tick mark in front of other, and in the other, I have to put in this dialog box, ampersand so i put here ampersand and you see that as soon as i put here ampersand in other now we are having the two separate columns it is giving us a data preview so after this one column is divided into two columns now we click on the next button here and after selecting the next button now you know that what we have to do here you can also keep it general or this one suppose you do not want to bring the last name column over here you want to only bring here the first name so that is also possible what we can do we can select this column the first column that is the first name column if you want i can keep it text also here so text data format then i have to go to the second column and if you do not want to have the second column over here in the sheet then i can select the second column and then we have this option here do not import column that is skip so i have to simply click this option do not import column skip and now it is written here skip column that's all so only one column will come that is this column now destination very very important so destination if you want to place this first name column over here directly then you don't have to change the destination because here the destination is dollar a dollar 14 that is this one this is the cell where that first name column will start but we want to put it over here that is the b14 so here also we do the same thing we click here this up arrow button and now we select this cell here that is b14 and after i select this b14 cell so here it is written in this small dialog box equal to dollar b dollar 14 i click this down arrow button and now i come back over here so my destination is changed it is equal to dollar b dollar 14 and this is fine i click on finish button now you see here only the first name column has come the last name column we skipped so here also i can put the title i can do some formatting and you see that it is so easy to use this text to column so this is another example where we have used uh, other delimiter now we go to this example here we are having the email id and after the at the rate we are having here let's say asmail.com now what we want to do that we want to select all these cells over here and then after selecting the cells i want to create here one column and i want to have the first part of the email that is this raj purohit sunita chauhan shiny wilson puja dube etc so in this cell i want to have only the initials of this email ids so here also we do the same thing. We select all these cells here. Then I go to the data tab. In the data tab, I click this button here. Remember this very, very important button, text to columns. So I click this button, text to columns. And now here I go for the same thing, delimited. And after delimited, I click here next. And now here, what we are having here at the rate, a delimiter. 
so here in others instead of m percent i will change here to at the rate in others i put here at the rate and now you can see that these two columns are separate and now we can go to the next year and now we want to have only the first column here we want to ignore the second column so we'll select this first column you can keep it here general also we select the second column and if you don't want to have it we can click here do not import column and now i have to change the destination so i click this up arrow key i click this cell here that is b25 so here it is written dollar b dollar 25 i click this down arrow button now and now the things are ready now i click the finish button and here we are getting the initial part of the email ids now here you can see that we are having this underline so it is like a you know that whenever we are having email ids when we write the email ids it is having that underline so now if i don't want to see all this underline i can select all these cells I go to the home tab and here we are having this underline so i click this underline and now you can see that the underlines are gone if you do not want to see this color here you can go to this font color and you can click on automatic and now we are having the black color here so here we have seen the various examples of the text to columns and we have always selected the delimited option and earlier we used the space as a delimiter then we use here the ampersand and then after the ampersand we used here the at the rate as a special delimiter now i'll be going for the last example here where we'll be using the fixed width option let us take this example so here in this example i select all these cells and then i go to the data tab in the data tab i click this button text to columns and now instead of delimited we'll be using this option fixed width so i click this fixed width here and now after selecting the fixed width i'll go to next and now here this is something different what it says this screen lets you set field width that is column breaks lines with arrows signify a column break to create a break line click at the desired position to delete a break line double click on the line and to move a break line click and drag it so see what is this fixed width over here in the fixed width i can define that okay in my first column i want to have the initial three characters from all these cells then the next column i want to have another four characters then in the third column i want to have all the remaining characters so here we are focusing not on the delimiter we are focusing on the width of each of the column that what should be your width so whether you want to have the three characters or four characters or five characters in the various columns so that you decide so what we have to do we have to create a break line so how we create a break line we have to just click over here on the scale and you see when i click on the scale i am now having this break line so now i can decide that where i want to put the break line so currently here after the three characters we are having a break line but if i want to move this break line i can move like here or here we can decide so let me put it after three characters here so after three characters i have placed one break line now if i want to have another break line for creating another column then i can click again on the scale and now i am having another break line now suppose if you want to delete these break lines then what you have to do you have to it says here to delete a break line double click on the line so if i double click here on the same line the break line is gone let me click it again and now i will put it over here so in the second column i'll be having total six characters in the first column three characters the second column is six characters and in the third column i'll be having all the remaining characters so this is how we can define yeah many times it happens that you are having some very let's say some order id number and order id number is consisting of some text characters and some numbers but they are written together so we want to separate out then here we can create this kind of break line so here i've created the two break line so it will be creating how many columns total three columns so after i create these two break lines i click on next button and now you can see that we are having these three separate columns let us keep it here everywhere general 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 i do not want to skip anything now let us select the destination so for the destination i'll click this arrow button and now let's say i'll select this cell here that is dollar c dollar 25 and once i select this one cell only remember that you have to select only one cell you don't have to select the whole column or three columns nothing you have to select only one cell where the table will start or where the column will start so i select this one cell and then i click on the down arrow button so i'm back over here my destination is equal to dollar c dollar 25 this is perfect so let us click on finish button and now here you see these three columns 
the first column is containing the initial three characters the second column is containing the another six characters and the third column is containing the remaining characters so friends here we have seen the various examples of the text to columns and remember that this text to column concept is very very important concept in ms excel you'll be having some kind of a messy data where everything is available in one column but now you want to separate out with the help of this text to column you can do it now in the next video i'll be talking about the various kinds of fields we will be talking about the flash field and then field series and the advanced filling so please stay tuned to this particular channel and if you like this video please click on the like button subscribe to the channel and also please share this video with your friends and colleagues so that will really motivate me to create more and more such videos so thank you very much again for being part of this video and see you in the next video